in the deep dark lair of Mega Silver. Please, no. 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 But you're the only one in the universe who has the Mario games after they've disappeared. And as I've told you before, they have to stay here. I don't know why Doug Bowser decided to use the Infinity Gauntlet to wipe them all from existence, but my cave is the only place keeping my precious game safe. And not you, or Doug Bowser, or anyone is ever gonna get their hands on them. You stupid make a silver 3000 tree stitch yours and lion in with his stupid silver avatar that isn't supposed to be silver freaking headshot keeping all the games safe. Why are your games safe here anyway? I made an ad blocker. Stupid silver and his. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Behold! My ad blocking editor! Yeah, I just can't. Yeah, you're just stupid. You know what? You know what? You know what? I am out of here. Keep your stupid Mario games and your stupid ad blocker. Wow. I can't believe he bought that crap. <laughs> I just sounded like Joker. How long are you going to keep up this stupid trade? I don't know. So, want to play Mario Kart DS? Eh, sure. Yeah, I know. I don't really need the Mario games. The Spyro, Ratchet & Clank, Sonic, Pikmin, Kirby, and so on. But I really miss the Mario games, you know? I still remember first playing New Super Mario Bros, first discovering about Super Mario Galaxy, playing Mario Kart DS and Mario Party DS with others, actually having a fun time with Mario Strikers Charged Football, Finding Super Mario All-Stars for the Wii and becoming a fan of retro games. Being excited for the release of Super Mario 3D Land. Laughing at Hotel Mario on YouTube. Trying to do glitches in Super Mario 64. Who could forget that moment when Mario became a dinosaur at E3 2017. And Super Mario Maker which led me to meet us. Honestly, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have never gotten the confidence to be a YouTuber. There may be loads of better games, but you could always count on Mario to give you a good time, even with a few bad ones. I suppose I should get on to reviewing... Huh? What's this? Strange. I've had this bunker for years and I've never seen this before. Dear whoever well, finds this, this note. note. If you're reading this, then someone has used my gauntlet to destroy all the Mario games from existence. If you're wondering, it was 2001, and I was a Sonic fan. Anyway, rest assured there is a way to bring them all back. A failsafe, if you will. On the back of this note is a map that will take you somewhere safe where you can make some games. It's one of the few locations that my gauntlet has no effect, much like this room you're standing in, although this room wasn't tested very well, but whatever. I pray you're I up to the task. I pray that you are up to the task. Good luck, whoever find this note. Huh. Well, I don't really know how to program, plus there's this whole copyright stuff. But if I'll bring the Mario games back, couldn't hurt to try, I guess. He really was a Sega fan. <laughs> Bring back the Mario games by going into space. Makes sense. Hmm, I don't see anything here. 
Not even a computer. It's very empty. Ah, here we go. Mario Maker? How is this supposed to help? Well, I guess I should give it a try. Somehow. Ah, yes. This game is pretty important to me. I still remember when it was just called Mario Maker and how simple it looked. I wasn't completely on board with it yet, but the idea of making your own courses seemed really cool. I think I remember one time trying to Google how to make Mario courses online, like using a web browser to do it and all. This was when I was still very new to the internet and when we had Windows XP and dial up modem. What started out as just another tool for the Nintendo team to use ended up making them realize how much fun fans could have with just this course making tool. Around the same time, Takashi Tezuka was wanting to make a follow up to Mario Paint that used the Wii U gamepad. No, that doesn't count. Or that. Or that. Or that. It's none of them. But after seeing the pitch for Mario Maker, he decided to go with that instead. Then the game was revealed for E3 2014 as just Mario Maker, but then made another reveal at the 2015 Nintendo World Championship as four custom made levels with a lot more work put into it than when it was first revealed. After that, it became clear that this game would have a lot more than your basic tools for making Mario levels. And so, for Mario's 30th anniversary, we got Super Mario Maker, which came out pretty close to Super Mario Bros. release date, on the 10th of September in Japan, and the following day everywhere else. You've gotta be kidding me guys, it's not even the exact date as Super Mario Bros. What were you guys seriously thinking? Okay, let's move on from that. So let's see if all of that hype was worth it. Okay, first off, the charm is off the charts. Charm charts! Each day has a different start animation, and you can tap on the letters and different things will happen just like in Mario Paint. It's cute! So, here it is. This is it. This is your life now. Oh boy, where do I start? Well, you have four game modes to choose from. Super Mario Bros, Tree, World, and New You. They all have similar physics, which I suppose makes sense. But each game has its own rules, like the spin jump in Mario 3, the ground pounding on wall jumping in Neo, tree with the P meter, and the first one... being the first one, I guess. On top of that, you can also choose different types of levels. You've got the normal old worlds, the undergrounds, underwaters, castles, airships, and ghost houses. Yeah, you can have airships in Super Mario Bros. and World, and the ghost houses in One and Tree. And Koji Kondo even went back and made new teams for these combinations. And they sound great. I don't exactly know if console limitations would have any issues with it. But still, th this is amazing. And the man still got it. They even reused Super Mario Bros. airship team for Super Mario Odyssey. Take notes, Sonic 4. Origins. Superstars, just give the man a goddamn guitar and play some adventure star music. Up here is where you place down almost any item in your custom made course. Ground, blocks and enemies of all kinds, power ups, coins, anything you can think of. Give some of these items a little shake and they'll turn into something else. For example, you can turn a green Cooper into a red one, or Bowser into Bowser Jr. You can give them a mushroom to make them big, or wings so they can fly, and with the fact you can place any item in any scenario, there's so many possibilities here. I could go on and on about what you can do here, but then nobody will be watching this video anymore. You're watching this, right? Hello? It's honestly really cool to see most of these tins return again, like Super Mario World with the key feather and the proper spin jump, which also works in you just like it did in World. Now that's a spin jump worth giving a damn. And it's really cool just being able to play these old games again, but with a new engine. I wouldn't mind if all of these levels from One Tree and World were recreated like this. And look at Bowser in his Super Mario World style. They just straight up gave him a new sprite. I love it. I also love how you can have these little Mario trails to show where Mario's been, so you can plan some tricky jumps. The levels do have this shadow effect on nearly all the items, except for Mario U, which I've heard some people don't like, but honestly, it never bothered me. It also now fits Mario 3 even more. 
You can also use your amiibo to make a question mark mushroom that will turn Mario into whoever you scanned. It's only for cosmetics, but it's cool seeing Mario turn to Sonic, or Link, or Mario. And if you have either of the 8-bit Mario amiibos, Mario can turn big, crush a lot of blocks, give the screen an 8-bit filter, and change most of the enemies into something more Mario-like. Kind of reminds me of that 100% completion bonus from Super Mario World. And I've gotta say, look at them! I love these 3D 8-bit amiibos! There's also this weird skinny mushroom that makes Mario skinny and jump like Luigi. Odd. You can even add your own little sound effects. So when you touch your spot or get this item or coins pop out this pipe or you stomp a Goomba, you'll get some sounds. It's not much, but it's neat. The game does have this thing where you don't get all of the tools right away. To unlock more, you've just gotta mess around for 5 minutes and after a message pops up, you'll get it the next day. This is stupid. Thankfully, there was this day 1 patch where you get some of the items sooner by placing 500 blocks. It's faster, but still stupid. Oh, and if you find a fly while moving blocks and swat it, you'll play the Nat Attack minigame from Mario Paints, which is neat and pretty difficult, especially the hard mode. Dear God! Don't feel like making any courses? Just want to play video games? Well, Super Mario Maker has this 10 Mario Challenge. Peach? Really? Goombas? Here, you have to play four randomly selected pre-made courses and beat them under 10 lives. There's 68 courses, so at least there's enough game there. They were one course off from being funny. I really like how the last four levels are the same ones featured in the NWC 2015 competition. And that does it for Super Mario Maker. Ooh, this place got internet. Never mind, the review is still going. Welp. Here it is, the real reason the game's still good. Once you've made a level and beaten it, you may upload it online for others to play and you too can play levels everyone has made. There's so many custom courses. Easy levels, hard levels, recreation, based on amiibo costumes, based on other games, levels where you stay still and watch the show, levels that play custom music, Kaizo levels, because screw you, give me a second to figure out before killing me. The possibilities are endless. Sure, there's a few not so good ones. Either too easy or too hard. But there are loads of good ones. I mean, there's over 26 million levels right now, so there's gonna be a load of good and bad. I really should move on from this topic. There's also this 100 Mario challenge based on the type of difficulty. Screw the super expert mode. It's like the 10 Mario challenge, but except you play 8 or 6 or how many levels the game says, I, 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 don't, I don't want to type this up. And you have to beat them all under 100 lives. And after you beat it, you'll earn a randomly selected amiibo costume, or a costume you can't get with an amiibo. Some of these costumes are honestly amazing, like Super Mario Kun. <laughs> I'm on box, Luigi! Unfortunately, Nintendo announced that on the 8th of April, the Wii U and 3DS will remove online connectivity for games. Meaning if you want to keep playing other people's courses or get those non-amiibo costumes, you better dust off your Wii U and start playing or downloading since you can do that with other people's levels. It was eventually gonna happen, but it's still sad to see. Not just with Super Mario Maker, but with other games too. Super Smash Bros. 4, Mario Kart 7, Kid Icarus Uprising. I had a lot of good times with it. But enough moping around, Super Mario Maker has updates. Yeah, throughout the months, Nintendo added more stuff to the game. You can now add checkpoint flags, this thing where you get a mushroom or a fire flower, etc. Depending on if you're small or Super Mario. Something that should have been a 10 from the start. A fire Cooper clown car, P-switch doors, locked doors, keys, bumpers... That was a weird addition. Skewers, and pink coins. However, there were no slopes. Every announcement, I waited for slopes to appear, but they never did. Super Mario Maker had a stage in Smash 4, and that has slopes! This is really stunned. And? Well, I guess that's it. 
You can already guess why I think of this. A simple concept that went a long way with a ton of attention and charm put into it. I'd say this was one of, if not the best Wii U game. Making your own courses and playing what others had cooked up. It just don't get no better than this. Soon, there won't be as much points to playing this game, so I can't completely recommend you get this. But if you already have the game before the 8th of April rolls around, give the game a few more plays. Oh, and there was also this booklet that came with the game. It's alright I guess, but the Super Mario All-Stars for Wii booklet was way better. So, what now? How is this supposed to help me? Oh no! A year later, we got Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. And I questioned its existence. I mean, don't get me wrong, the idea of porting the game to the 3DS seems like a no-brainer. Making courses on the go, the touchscreen, and being able to play it in 3D. They removed 3D support. I hate this. Nintendo just made some... really weird cuts with this. They completely removed amiibo support. Why? The 3DS was way capable of supporting amiibos, and you can't tell me the 3DS wouldn't have been able to handle them. They're 8-bit sprites! You're not able to search for courses here. In the Wii U version, you had to search them by code or course type, and you can even save your favorite users. On the 3DS version, you can only play randomly selected recommended courses, or through the 100 Mario challenge. You can't even give the course a star, man! Star, come on, man. Not star, man. I, I want my stars! But all of that doesn't compare to the fact that you can't upload your levels! You can play others, but you can't share your creations to the internet! You can do it locally or via Street Pass, just not the internet. Why? No, no, seriously, why? Isn't that, like, Mario Maker's 10? Like, being able to feel like a creator and stuff? You went through the trouble of letterboxing the top screen, as well as crunching the sprites, especially in New Year's style, even though New Super Mario Bros. 2 is on the 3DS. And you already got it the 3D from the game! Are there any redeeming qualities? Well, for one, there's this tutorial mode, which is pretty neat. And a new adventure mode. Ish. It replaces the 10 mile challenge, only this time there's 100 courses, and they have medals to collect if you complete certain challenges. Not gonna lie, they're pretty tough. This is also how you unlock new parts for the course editor. It takes even longer to get everything now, but it makes more sense than dropping blocks everywhere. And I should know a tenant too about dropping blocks. And that's pretty much everything to be said about the 3DS port. Should you get this version over the Wii U one? Well... Now, it seems like the better option. There's more built-in levels, and unlike the Wii U version, you can share your courses using local wireless connection or Street Pass. It's not very convenient, and I doubt you'll find another who has a 3DS and a copy of the game. But with the internet closing down, it's slightly better now? A very amusing situation if you ask me. And that's it for Super Mario Maker. Whoop! Didn't know I would be dropping bricks today. <laughs> ah yes, Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. They revealed the game with the addition of slopes. They knew. They freaking knew. Planning for the game started around the same time development was going on with the Nintendo Switch. And then they released in 2019. Personally, I didn't get the game until GameStop was closing down Ireland. So now there's no stores in town that sells new games, you goddamn piss off! So, what new tins does this sequel have to offer? Well, let's find out. There's no Easter eggs on the title screen. Don't play this game. And check it out, you get to play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette. Me likey to play as Luigi. Oh yeah. Well, the first big changes are the controls. Since there's an option to play the game on the TV, you now have to make levels with... 
buttons! It takes a long while to get used to, but it works. You can also use a touchscreen which is a little better, even without a stylus, but I'd say it works a lot better on the Wii U. And you can now edit levels with a friend on the same screen. Not as great as it sounds, I think it would have been better as a local playton and not having to use the same screen. A lot more could have been done with that. The course parts have been greatly expanded upon, and you don't have to unlock any of them. Well, except for two, but we'll get to that soon enough. There's a lot more stuff here. You can now add slopes, and it's about damn time. 10, 30, and 50 coins, boom boom, bonsai bills, icicles, twisters that send you up in the air, seesaws, swimming claws, on and off switches that can affect blocks, tracks, and conveyor belts, snake blocks, and that's just a part. There's now deserts, forests, snows, and the skies, each with some new remixes for the older games by, once again, the great Koji Kondo. Mario 3 barely got any new music for some reason, but I really enjoy Mario 1's music, and that far stage music in World sounds like it belongs in the SNES version of Mario's Missing. The first level for Mario 3 is just pipes though. They really gave that game the short end of the stick. You can also place down the angry sun and... Looks very weird in the new U style. But if you tap it, it'll turn into a moon and the stages become nighttime. And this can have some weird effects. For example, in the undergrounds, everything goes upside down. And the castles make you swim in the air. The ghost houses and underwater makes everything go dark. And the overalls have all the enemies floating around, with the 1-up mushroom being replaced with the rotten mushrooms that act exactly like the posing mushroom, except they can chase you around like in 3D land. Why didn't they call this the poison mushroom? Oh, and touching the moon will kill all the enemies on screen. You can customize where the screen scrolls, how high the lava, poison, or water is, make it move up and down. LAVA! I really need to stop forgetting about this gag. You can stop the screen from scrolling by adding one long wall, and you can even add clear conditions where the player will have to do something in order to reach the goal. Collect a certain number of coins, or defeat a certain number of enemies, carry a Koopa shell to the goal, take no damage, reach the goal with a certain power up, never leave the ground. There's a lot more you can do with these courses. They did unfortunately remove amiibo support, so no costumes. I don't know, I feel like they could have easily ported a sprite or something. I'd kill for some new 3D 8-bit amiibos. Or 16-bit. 64. Paper Mario. The, the floating Mario head. Hotel Mario. Grandad. At least we still have that giant mushroom with no amiibo required. They removed the weird mushroom. Nintendo sucks. And finally, the biggest addition, a 3D world thing with loads more cut parts and moves. The new controls doesn't work as well in 2D though. It does take a lot to get used to. But it's still pretty cool. There's clear pipes, the super bell, climbable trees, warp boxes, blinking boxes, bouncy mushroom platforms, lots of new enemies including the fish that can eat you, a freaking car, and more. Oh, and the new sound effects are cool. There's so much more to do in the course editor. And then... We get to the rest of the game. Replacing the 10 Mario challenge and the... Uh, Super Mario Challenge, we now have an actual story mode. This time, there's 120 courses made by Nintendo, but with a story and hub tying it all together. Mario and crew have just finished building Peach's castle, and all is well. That is, until the Undo Dog steps on the reset rocket, and now they have to build it all again. Anyone else getting Super Mario Run vibes? So now it's Mario's job to go through different courses in order to earn more coins so the crew can slowly rebuild the castle. It's not much on paper, but it makes it feel more like a standalone game, even when the servers eventually go offline. And it's happening sooner than you're prepared for. I give the Switch another 5 to 10 years. 2030! Mark your calendars! Back to the video. There's also a few characters to interact with and stuff. I like it. And you can unlock two pubs to use in the course editor. There's the Super Hammer for 3D World, where you can break hard blocks and make new ones, giving me Steve from Smash Bros vibes. 
or Minecraft, I guess. As for the other... Oh. Oh, yes. The Super Ball Flower? From Super Mario Land? And it works just how you'd expect? And they remix the Mario Land theme? Da 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 da! Of course, the course world is here too. <laughs> of course. Get it? Well, for one, you can now add tags to your courses and have other people give them tags for, say, shorter levels, ones focused on art and not much on the difficulty, speedrunning, short and sweet, etc, etc. I mean, it's not gonna be 100% all the time, but it's very handy. Just wished I knew what tags to give my levels. But hey, that's why other people exist, to correct my mistakes in life. Subscribe! You can also lock different costumes and clothes for your Mii avatar to wear, which is nice, and it at least gives you more of a reason to keep playing. And instead of having the 100 Mario challenge, we've now got the Endless challenge, where you just keep playing random levels, categorized in difficulty, and try to get the highest rank. Good luck getting the game over in the easy mode. It's nice and all, but... Man, I just really miss the 8-bit costumes. At least you got something each time you made it to the end. And finally, online play. Connect up to 3 other players locally or online and try to beat the stage together as a team. Or compete to get to the goal first. This is honestly really cool. Although, I do wish you at least got some points for coming in second or third place. Taking points away because you won first is a little harsh. I'm not sulking, okay? I try to get more than zero points! As for the connection itself? Well, maybe it was a lot worse when it launched, but from what I've played, I didn't really have any bad connections. Maybe I just got lucky or something, but I barely had any lag. It's certainly not Smash Ultimate, I can tell you that much. Oh, this, is, this, this is worse no. than Sonic 06! Oh my, oh my god, god. god! Oh my god! At least Sonic 06! No, 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 I just want to punch someone! <laughs> Can I not bully anyone yet? And even after all of that, the game got some updates with new content. Spikes, pokies, pea blocks, dash blocks, frozen coins, the frog suits, power balloon, boomerang flower, super acorn. That really should have been in the first game instead of propeller mushroom. Different kinds of power boxes, the Koopalins, Mecha Koopas, the Master Sword with the Master Sword, where you get to play as Link with new with new moves, like using the sword, the shields, and arrows and bombs. Dude! Suddenly, that 8-bit Link amiibo is starting to make a lot more sense. What's next? A Super Mario 2 USA mode? No! They didn't! Well, sort of. But still! Wow! The one request everyone was asking for that I was confident was never going to happen. You can pick up enemies! In the snow levels, you can pick up snowballs! You can crouch for super jump! The music changes depending on the team! Wow! This game, dude! Now add the 64 mode! They also added two new modes. There's Ninja Speedruns, where you try to get the fastest time in certain Nintendo created courses, and you get to see other people's attempts at the course, which is nice. All of this is making me think of Super Meat Boy. And... Oh. Wow. World creator. You can make your own worlds now. I love you. 
Granted, it's pretty limited. There's only so many paths you can take, you're only allowed to put down 5 courses per world, and you can only put down one pipe to lead you somewhere else. And these maps are pretty small, but still, this is awesome. And from the look of tins, that's all. Oh, and they brought back the tutorials for making levels. Congratulations, you ruined everything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, what do I think of this game? Man, did I underestimate it! I know the servers are shutting down anyway, but Super Mario Maker 2 is the best out of the trilogy. There's just so much more to do here. New parts, 3D world, the online play, the story mode, and even more levels to play online. I'd say get this game if you can. This is a huge package for playing and creating, especially with this world creator. It's practically like making your own Mario game. Make, make, making your own Mario game. That, that's it! That's it! That's the answer! I'll, I can, yeah, I can use this to create more Mario games! I'll, I, I can, I can, re I'll recreate the Mario games from scratch! Yeah! Yeah, I did, that's the answer! That's the answer! I got it! Yeah! I can, I can do this, yeah! I'm bringing back all the Mario games! And nobody can stop me! Shut up, Grandpa! And thanks for again to the end of this video. I, I'm recording this before I even start editing it, but um, yeah, I, I, it's starting to look like it might be a pretty lengthy review. I'm really hoping I can get this done before the servers are actually shut down. And I am really sorry about how long this was taken. I wasn't getting enough time. I wasn't able to get enough time to actually do any of it, so that's... That was, that was annoying, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, and do whatever the heck you want to do with your life. Woo! And uh, I'm just going to get this out of it because I, cause it's uh, been like three months since I should have done this for him. So I'm really sorry. Thanks for the patience. Here it is. His name is Dax. Get in here, Dax. I know you're not actually there, but get in here. Get on that spot. Thank you so much, Dax. Thank you so much, everybody. But uh, thank you so much, Dax. And he's really fun to talk to, actually. You guys should actually... I say follow him. I follow all these guys, honestly. Follow on everyone on YouTube, Twitter, anything they're on. Um, but... Yeah, they're all, they're all pretty. They're all pretty fun, but yeah, you you got, you are really fun to talk to, Dax. Yeah, and uh, I guess I don't have too much to say. The next one is likely not going to be the next Mario game since I I really need to get to the other collabs that I that's a bit overdue, a bit bit much. So so yeah, might have to wait a little bit for the rest of the Mario games, but. Yeah, and I will see you in another universe, in another time, in another planet. Mm, bye bye!